Good morning, everyone. It's Steve Luckner with Right Side Broadcasting. We are coming to you this morning with some breaking news. Uh, in the last hour, uh, President Trump has fired Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. This is a firing that had been rumored, I guess you could say, for months, but it finally happened this morning, and President Trump has fired Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and replaced him with CIA Director Mike Pompeo. So you can see President Trump's tweet right here in case you haven't seen it yet. Mike Pompeo, Director of the CIA, will become our new Secretary of State. He will do a fantastic job. Thank you to Rex Tillerson for his service. Gina Haspel will become the new director of the CIA. She's a de she, was, she is the deputy director at the CIA. And the first woman so chosen, congratulations to all. So President Trump firing Rex Tillerson as Secretary of State this morning. We're going to cover it live for you. We're also going to take your comments on the air. You can write to me if you have comments at at Luckner on Twitter, at Luckner on Twitter. Let me make sure the sound's working okay. First woman so chosen. Sounds Congrats. like it's working okay. Wonderful. And uh, I want to give you, I'm going to give you, before we take some of your comments, I'm going to give you some background on this story. So the White House is saying that uh, Tillerson was fired uh, because they wanted somebody new in place for the upcoming uh, meeting and negotiations with Kim Jong-un of North Korea and also for some uh, important trade negotiations coming up, such as the renegotiation of NAFTA. So that's what the White House is saying. And uh, President Trump and uh, Tillerson have disagreed on a lot of things. There have been a, a number of policies they've disagreed on. Um, for example, there was a time last summer when Tillerson said he had been working on setting up some negotiations with North Korea, and President Trump sent out tweets criticizing Rex Tillerson for trying to talk to North Korea. Um, Re Rex Tillerson was supposedly much more high on the Iran deal than President Trump was. So there have been a number of dis policy disagreements uh, between Rex Tillerson and Trump, and supposedly Mike Pompeo, the CIA director who's going to replace Tillerson, supposedly he has a much better personal relationship with President Trump. Mike Pompeo is the one who gives President Trump his daily briefing every day, a daily intelligence briefing. So better relationship between Mike Pompeo and President Trump than the relationship between Rex Tillerson and President Trump, um, and uh, also, also uh, lots of policy disagreements and public disagreements between Rex Tillerson and President Trump. And it seemed like recently uh, Rex Tillerson wasn't even that in on things. So if you remember, the day that the that there was that 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 announcement on the White House, right outside the White House, where the South Korean official announced that. Uh, Kim Jong-un had offered to meet with President Trump, and President Trump had accepted the meeting. Just earlier in that day, uh, Rex Tillerson had tweeted out, uh, either had tweeted out or said, or both, that they weren't, that negotiations weren't close to happening. And then that night, President Trump accepts a meeting with Kim Jong-un to negotiate with him. So, uh, the, you know, there were definitely signs that Rex Tillerson uh, was not on the inside and was a bit out of the loop. So <clears throat> not a, a huge surprise that this happened, but certainly a significant change in the Trump administration. And we want to get you some updates. And again, we're going to take your comments on the air. So if you have comments on this, write to me at at Luckner on Twitter, at Luckner on Twitter. Let me show you some little background on this story. Uh, I thought Oxios had some nice stuff on this. So uh, here we go. Rex T Trump outs Rex Tillerson in favor of CIA Director Pompeo. After months of a report, after months of reports about a fractured relationship between Trump and Tillerson, uh, Trump tweeted today that CIA Director Mike Pompeo will replace Tillerson. The State Department, interestingly enough, issued a statement that Tillerson had not spoken to Trump and was unaware of the reason for his dismissal. So NBC's Andrea Mitchell reported this morning that. She's reporting that Tillerson found out he was fired from this tweet. Now, if that's true, uh, that certainly would show a bit of a frayed relationship between Tillerson and Trump. So that's a, you can see the State Department says Tillerson had not spoken to Trump and was unaware of the reason for his dismissal. That's what the State Department official uh, uh, notice said. I don't know if Tillerson actually 
was the one, maybe he's the one who ordered that press release being put out. And again, according to Andrea Mitchell, uh, he did, he found out about this firing from President Trump's tweet. Uh, they go on to say in this Axios article, Trump's announcement comes, I, oh, this was an, <clears throat> speaking of policy disagreements between Tillerson and the White House, uh, here's another one. Uh, Trump's announcement comes just hours after Tillerson broke with the White House to blame Russia for the poisoning of ex-spy Sergei uh, Skripal in the United Kingdom. But the Washington Post, which first broke the news, reported that Trump made his decision last week. So the Post is saying Trump made his decision to fire Tillerson last week. The Washington Post said Trump last Friday asked Tillerson to step aside and the embattled top diplomat cut short his trip to Africa on Monday to return to Washington. So Tillerson had been uh, in Africa this weekend and he cut that short to return to Washington yesterday. Uh, senior State Department, uh, that's according to the Washington Post. However, the senior State Department officials are saying Tillerson found out he was fired from Trump's tweet. Now, a way those reports could both be true is if President Trump might have asked Tillerson to step aside on Friday, and Tillerson was like, well, I'm not going to voluntarily step aside. You're going to have to fire me if you want to get rid of me. And they left it at, they, maybe they left it at that, and then this morning, uh, Rex Tillerson was fired by President Trump. So it's possible that Rex Tillerson found out about the firing officially from President Trump's tweet, but at the same time, he might have known it was coming. Uh, let me keep showing you. Actually, let me keep showing you this. Um, here's another post. This was uh, so a little some background on the disagreements between President Trump and Tillerson from Axios. I thought this article was helpful, this short article. Uh, Oxios reports, Jonathan Swan specifically wrote this one. Uh, Jonathan Swan says, This has been months in the making. Mike Allen and I were the first to report that President Trump was considering Mike Pompeo for the job, and that was back in October. So, Oxios had a story that the president was considering Rex, uh, Mike Pompeo for Secretary of State in October, you know, five months ago. And uh, this is this is one of these things. I do remember reading stories months ago on on President Trump. Pres uh, Pre president Trump's going to fire Tillerson soon. So it had been it had been rumored for a while, but it, it took a while for it to happen. Uh, the bottom line, says Jonathan Swan, sa uh, is that the relationship between Trump and Tillerson was untenable. They clashed on just about every major policy issue, from the Iran deal to North Korea in Qatar. Tillerson even privately argued against Trump's signature foreign policy decisions to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accords and to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and to, and to move the U.S. Embassy there. The backstory. Trump fell out with Tillerson almost immediately, according to Jonathan Swan. Tillerson clashed with the White House over personnel. He kept trying to appoint people who opposed Trump and his agenda, uh, who opposed Trump and his agenda, and he repeatedly clashed with the White House head of personnel, Johnny DiStefano. Their clashes culminated in a heating meeting, heated meeting in which Tillerson rudely reamed out DiStefano. The animus wasn't confined to Tillerson. His chief of staff, Margaret Petterlin, managed to make more enemies across the administration than perhaps any senior official. And Tillerson's spokesman, Steve Goldstein, did little to hide his disdain for Trump in the view of White House officials. The big picture, according to Jonathan Swan, as one Pitt Republican senator pointed out to me, Secretary of State is the role above all others in the cabinet where there can't be a hair's breadth separating the secretary and the president. It's more tenable, for example, to have a total breakdown in relations between the president and his attorney general. Trump has no confidence in Jeff Sessions and repeatedly makes that clear publicly. But as this senator pointed out, it can be helpful to have some independence and separation between the president and the Justice Department. But when the Secretary of State speaks, he is the voice of America and the president. For, and the president. Foreign leaders couldn't trust that Tillerson was representing Trump's point of view because the president repeatedly contradicted and undercut him. There will be no separation between Trump and Pompeo. The outgoing CIA director has a close daily relationship with the president, and no member of Trump's cabinet more enjoys the President Trump. So CIA director Pompeo reportedly has a much better personal relationship with uh, President Trump and also is closer to President Trump on policy than Rex Tillerson, who disagreed with President Trump on a, on a, a number of things. 
let's see. I wanted to also show you this. Uh, a few minutes ago, President Trump uh, made a statement at the White House about the Tillerson firing, and I want to play you that. So hang on one second. Let me get this up here. Let's see if I can do this. Let's try this. Nope, that's not. Oh, I got to turn the volume on. Hang on. Who is Rex? But really, you. Here we go. I finally got it all set up. Here we go. Here is President Trump's statement uh, a little while ago uh, about the Rex Tillerson firing. I actually got along well with Rex, but really it was a different mindset. It was a different thinking. What? Say it again. I respect his intellect. I respect the uh, process that we've all gone through together. Uh, we have a very good relationship for whatever reason, chemistry, whatever it is. Why do people get along? I've always, right from the beginning, from day one, I've gotten along well with Mike Pompeo. And frankly, I get along well with Rex, too. And, you know, I wish Rex a lot of good things. I think he's going to do, uh, I think he's going to be very happy. I think Rex will be much happier now. But I really appreciate his service. But with Mike, we've had a very good chemistry right from the beginning. So um, President Trump saying, I actually got along well with Rex, but really it was a different mindset. It was a different thinking. I wish Rex a lot of good things. I think Rex will be much happier now. Uh, another report from Axios I want to show you. Uh, Trump, I made decision to oust Tillerson by myself. Uh, according to Oxios, President Trump... I actually got along well uh, with Rex, but second, really it was a different story. mindset. It was a different thinking. Uh, President Trump told reporters as he left the White House Tuesday that he made the decision to fire Secretary of State Rex Tillerson by myself and admitted that he really didn't discuss it much with Tillerson before announcing it on Twitter. Trump said that he appreciated Dis Tillerson's commitment in the position, but the two disagreed on things. The president said that he and Pompeo are much more aligned, adding from day one, I have gotten along with Mike Pompeo. So we want, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about President Trump firing and uh, replacing Rex Tillerson? Uh, give me a shout on Twitter if you have thoughts on this. I am at, uh, uh, at, on Twitter, at Luckner, at L-O-O-K, N E R. Hello to everybody watching on YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. And thank you to Guinevere and Real Frank for moderating our chat and Common Sense and Gleno doing the same on the website. On Oops, this. sorry. Let me turn this volume down here. I'm just going to finally check my messages here and see if anyone has any thoughts about this. Devil's Libertarian writes in Tillerson fired not 15 hours stating after stating Russia was behind UK poisonings. So, you know, this was just one of a number of disagreements between Tillerson and the White House. Um, so Tillerson, I'd love to get the quote for you about, the, about what Tillerson said yesterday about uh, the Russia poison, poisoning accusations in the UK. Let me see if I can find that for you to actually explain this point. Here we go. So, you know, yesterday, uh, here we go. Uh, Tillerson says UK spy poisoning came from Russia. Hours before being ousted as Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson called the poisoning of, ex -Russian spy in his, of, of an ex-Russian spy and his daughter with a military-grade nerve agent in the UK a really egregious act that appears to have clearly come from Russia. Now, if I remember right, that's a bit of a different line that was taken by than than the um, than Sarah Sanders in the White House press briefing. Let me see if I can get you the exact quote here. Yeah, so there's a bit of a difference between. Um, Tillerson and Sanders, Sarah Sanders, uh, where is the Sanders part? Yeah, White House, 
White in the in the in the press briefing yesterday, White House press secretary Sarah, Sarah Sanders called the attack reckless, and indiscriminate, and irresponsible, but stopped short of blaming Russia explicitly. So that was just one of many differences between Rex Tillerson and White in the White House uh, over the last few months. Beloved daughter writes, Trump just cleaning house. The bigger question, who's in at CIA? Well, President Trump said who's in at CIA. Gina Haspel is in at CIA. Here's some, some info on Gina Haspel. She is the deputy director of the CIA. And she was director of uh, the Na National Clandestine Service. Clandestine? Boy, i got to look that up. Uh, for several months, I don't even know what the National Clandestine, Clandestine Service is. Um, uh, she's been with the CIA for a while. Uh, you can see here, Haspel ran a black site CIA prison located in Thailand in 2002. So she is going to be the first, ooh, second woman to hold the deputy of uh, position. Um, this says, sec I thought she was the first, going to be the first woman to be director of the CIA, but it says here she's going to be the second in Wikipedia. Let's see. Let's see if we can clear this up. I mean, CBS News says first female spy to hold position. Well, anyway. Let me get to some more of your comments. Denise Nively says, is Pompeo deep state opinions? Well, I'm not exactly sure how you're defining deep state, but I will say uh, he is reportedly very close to President Trump. He's been delivering President Trump's in, uh, daily briefings, intelligence briefings for a while, and um, he is uh, close in a lot of foreign policy positions with President Trump. So if you define deep state as somehow opposed to President Trump, that would make him not deep state. But different people have different definitions of that. Uh, our viewer CMDR Liberty writes in, if Tillerson is so aware, unaware of everything going on around him up to this point, uh, I, I, this was a response to when I tweeted out the story that Tillerson wasn't aware of I tweeted out the story from CNBC saying uh, Secretary of State Tillerson did not speak to the president and is unaware of the reason for his removal and had every intention of staying. And CMDR Liberty replied, if Tillerson is so unaware of everything going on around him up to this point, then that alone is the reason he's being replaced. Jeremy Miller just wrote to me and said, as of 10.30 a.m., YouTube is saying none of my subscriptions have posted in 11 hours. Just happened to see your broadcast. Now, I did get a notification. It's rare these days when YouTube sends out a notification for our uh, broadcast. They send out one a day, though. So this was our first event of the day. So I bet we won't get notifications the rest of the day. So we apologize uh, to people who subscribe to us and don't get notifications. That's, that's a YouTube thing. Uh, you know, one notification a day. For, for subscribers, seems kind of shadow banny. But um, yeah, we would we would advise you if you want to know when we're coming on the air, don't just subscribe to us on YouTube because they don't send out a lot of notifications for us. I would also uh, follow us on Twitter at RSB Network. Uh, you could also follow us on Facebook if you'd like, or uh, and or follow us on Periscope, which is at RSBN TV. Kathy Schubert writes in, why did, Tiller, why did Trump appoint globalists Tillerson and Cohn in the first place? 
Now, I think with Tillerson, there was something to, I, I think perhaps something President Trump liked about Tillerson is that he was an outsider. He, he was a business person. He, and again, he was a business person. He was not a career diplomat. Uh, and President Trump liked that he had business, uh, business experience, a successful business experience, um, and also um, that uh, that um, that he wasn't, you know, a career diplomat. I think those things appealed to President Trump about Rex Tillerson. Director, he was director, of, CEO of Mobile, right? The thing is, watch. I bet it, maybe it's like Exxon. These the little details. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, CEO of Exxon Mobil. Well, Exxon Mobil. There you go. Assange's Revenge writes in. Um, hang on one second. That Gina Haspel will be the first female CIA director. Avril Haines was the second closest to the position, but she was was just the deputy director. Oh, I think that might have been where I got confused in the Wikipedia article. I thought it was saying she was the second female de director, and I was like, huh? Uh, let's see here. Anyways, I won't go back with the Wikipedia thing, but that might have been where I got confused. Uh, Assange's Revenge, our viewer says, again, the fake news is trying to hide the fact that Trump is not anti-women, as Hillary cried about it yesterday. So President Trump has appointed a number of women uh, in his cabinet. I was actually thinking about, about that myself this morning. So we have Elaine Chao, Secretary of Transportation, Kristen Nielsen, Director of uh, Homeland Security, or Secretary of Homeland Security, um, and... Uh, now we have uh, uh, we have Gina Haspel is going to be director of the CIA. Who else am I am I forgetting anyone? He does have uh, you know uh, his daughter Ivanka Trump in a senior position as a white in the White House as well. Oh, Betsy DeVos, Secretary of Education. I'd forgotten about that. So there are a number of women cabinet members in President Trump's cabinet. See if there's any, I want to just do a quick check and see if there's any updated information on this firing since we came on the air. Really quick update, I just want to give you on a, on a different story. Um, I tweeted about it, but in case you haven't heard, uh, tour bus chartered by Houston area school plunges into ravine off of I-10 in Alabama and many are injured. And the sheriff has said six medical helicopters, around six medical helicopters, flown in to evacuate injured victims from Alabama tour bus crashing and a dozen local fire departments have responded to assist as well. So. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on that after this broadcast. And I also wanted to show you, there was one other story about the White House this morning that I wanted to give you an update on. A bunch of news. Hang on, I'm just, uh, I just want to find a good little st story about it here. Well, I'll show you what I have. Trump personal aide John McEntee forced out over background check issues. This happened this morning. The bombshell firing of Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, says ABC News, comes amid another shakeup in the West Wing involving President Trump's personal aide, his body man, John McEntee, who was escorted from the White House Monday. And actually, the campaign up, and we have a black screen on YouTube. Wonderful. Thank you, YouTube. Just great. Thank you. Thanks, YouTube. So we apologize for those watching on YouTube. YouTube is showing a black screen over our logo. Hey, you know what I'm going to do for people watching on YouTube? 
This is a really long one. I'm actually going to show people how to complain about this. So we really apologize. YouTube has been doing this stupid shadow ban black screen Thank stuff you, for YouTube. months now with our channel. Just great. Um, but let me show you. Um, let me show you if you're watching on YouTube. Sorry to interrupt the broadcast, but if you're watching on YouTube and you see this black screen on our broadcast, very easy way to complain to YouTube about it. You just go back like I did. You you can scroll back in the broadcast. You pause on the black screen. Okay. You right click on the black screen. When you right click, a menu comes up. You click on troubleshoot playback issue. And when you do that, this send feedback form comes up. And look, it already has a screenshot of the black screen on there. So all you have to do is uh, fill in the feedback. Hey, YouTube, why don't you fix these stupid black screens they've been happening on right side for months sick of you shadow banning them just fix it see you do that and then you say send so that's all you have to do. Very easy. So just if you're watching on YouTube, go back a few seconds, right click on the video, click on troubleshoot playback issue, and uh, just send your feedback in. Type it in and press send. Sends at the bottom there. That would really help us a lot. I don't know. Actually, probably won't help us because YouTube hates us, but it would be helpful just to have more complaints on the record about it. Maybe in some sense. But we apologize. They, they'll just never fix it. They hate us. That's why. They hate us. They hate our channel. Uh, anyways, what was I saying when I was interrupted? Oh, I was reading this story. Uh, Trump personal aide John McAtee forced out over background check issues. Uh, so he was forced out. Uh, there were issues with his background clearance. I, I believe the campaign hired him. He was fired. He was he was fired from the White House or ousted from the White House, but the, the Trump campaign has hired him now. Um, he's the latest original Trump campaign aide to, defa to depart the White House. And, I, uh, yeah, and a statement released this morning uh, said that McEntee enjoy, joins the re-election team as a senior advisor for campaign operations. So I have no information about what the, um, the issue with his background check was. Thanks again to our moderators, Guinevere Real Frank and Roger Vega has joined us now. Hey, we're taking your comments on the air about uh, Rex, the Rex Tillerson firing. Give me a shout at at Luckner on Twitter if you'd like. Mike Johnston writes in, Gina Haspill has been reported as a water border all over Google search. It's amazing how fast it got out. Well, let's do a Google search. I'm finding an old article about it, not a new article. This is from the South China Morning Post from a month ago. CIA's new deputy director, Gina Haspel, is linked to waterboarding at secret prison. She's going to be the director now. She once ran a CIA prison in Thailand where terror suspects were waterboarded, the form of torture that U.S. President Donald Trump has supported. No, oh, I guess this article is updated. It said February 3rd, but now it has info about... Oh, this is no, this is February 3rd. It wasn't updated. Anyways, I saw that, but when I Googled it, I didn't see a million articles on it. Yeah, these articles, a lot of these articles seem to have come out about in terms of the, the waterboarding connection uh, when 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 uh, she was named deputy director about over a month ago. Thank you for the message about that, Mike Johnston. 
CJ says, will you be covering President Trump's trip in California? I wonder how many protesters will be there. Remember when he went to campaign in California, he had to walk across the road and climb up to Hill to give a speech. So CJ, we will be, he's traveling to California today and we will be keeping our eye on it. I mean, obviously we're very small, so we can't afford to send somebody to actually cover him physically in California. But if interesting stuff happens uh, and we have access to footage, we will come on and show it to you. Royal Kitty, I literally just reported three minutes ago the story you just sent me. So go back three minutes and you'll see me talking about the President Trump's uh, personal assistant being replaced. Oh, I forgot. Hamfried said Linda McMahon is a number, another uh, cabinet member who's female. I was talking about President Trump's female cabinet members. Uh, admin- now, is this in the cabinet? She's administrator of the Small Business Administration. Uh, is that a cabinet position, though? She might, it might not be a cabinet position. Is Linda McMahon in the cabinet? Uh, some articles say it's in the cabinet, but I want I want some confirmation. What positions are in the cabinet? According to Mike.com, I don't know if they're the most trustworthy source. Uh, keep going. Yes, uh, there are currently seven positions that are not considered to be an official part of the president's cabinet, but that have cabinet level rankings. So Linda McMahon's position would not be an official cabinet position, but have cabinet level rankings, whatever that means. Mm, Let's see here. Oh, so... um, uh, Joe, our CEO, informs me that, Presid- that President Trump will be speaking in San Diego at 5 p.m. today, and we will be carrying that live. So 5 p.m., President Trump speaking in San Diego live. Also, tonight we have live coverage. I'll be here for live election results coverage from the Pennsylvania special house election, and I'll be coming on at 6.30 p.m. for that. Uh, I have forgotten to mention we are viewer supported here at Right Side Broadcasting. So uh, we pay our bills from your donations. Uh, we certainly don't pay our bills from YouTube ad, ad revenue. The ad revenue was bad anyway, but in the last couple of months, they've basically started this kind of shadow banning type of thing where they don't send out notifications about our broadcast. But in terms of the money, they really mark almost all of our broadcasts not suitable for most advertisers. So even just news coverage like this, we cover President Trump's rally, uh, they marked that not suitable for most advertisers. And when that happens, we basically get no ad revenue. So we really have like no income coming from that. Our income really comes from you. So if you like having this option for your coverage, I would please ask you to consider to donate to Right Side Broadcasting. Because again, without those donations, we can't stay on the air. You can donate by going to the bottom of the YouTube chat and clicking on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat. Or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate donate. CJ, I did mention Elaine Chao when I was talking about the female cabinet members. Okay, Royal Kitty, I saw your message. All right, so I'm just going to see if there's any more Rex Tillerson news here. I don't see any right now. Anyways, we'll keep an eye on this today. Um, And... uh, And again, Rex Tillerson out as Secretary of State will be replaced by Mike Pompeo. 
Uh, and um, there will be a, a new, I keep blanking on the name, maybe because it's early. Uh, I keep blanking on the name of the new, uh, of the new, um, uh, new CIA director. Gina Haspel. Uh, so she'll be the new CIA director. They both have to be confirmed by the Senate, by the way, but I don't anticipate any problems with that. Hey, and Christine Beshin made a donation. Thank you, Christine. She says, my 200 cents worth. Thanks, Steve. Keep America great. Thank you, guys. So we'll have a bunch of coverage today. Uh, once again, we will be covering um, the uh, President Trump speech at 5 p.m. from San Diego. And at six, starting at 6.30, we will have live election night coverage uh, of the Pennsylvania special election. And where is this? We'll also come on the air if any other breaking news happens today. So I'm going to be following the news all day. Uh, I, uh, you can uh, follow us on, uh, to repeat the places to follow right side in case you want to be updated when we come on the air live. Subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell, but don't just do that because a lot of times they don't, they don't send out notifications because of their shadow banny kind of thing that's going on um, with us. Uh, so you should also do one of the following. Subscribe to us on Twitter or follow us on Twitter at RSB Network, uh, on Facebook Right Side Broadcasting, and on Periscope RSBN TV. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Lookner. I post about breaking news stuff all the time at Lookner on Twitter. Uh, so even when I'm not on the air, I post. You can follow me there. Very much appreciate our... Um, our uh, chat, our, our moderators, Guinevere, Real Frank, Roger Vega in the YouTube chat, and also Common Sense and Gleno on the website. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, so that's it for right now. That's gonna that all right. So that's we're gonna I'm gonna end the stream right now of our Rex Tillerson coverage, and I'm gonna go catch up on some news. And I very well might be on er, later in the day. Well, I'll be before five, but but again. 5 p.m. President Trump's speech from San Diego. 6.30, I'll be on for full election night coverage from Pennsylvania. Looking forward to being with you guys for that. Thank you for saying thanks in the chat room. Luciferin um, says thanks. Thank you, Luciferin. Um, and thank you again to our moderators and everyone else out there. Tia Marie, thank you. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Okay. No, I didn't forget. I'm, I'm all good. All right, great. So I'm going to wrap it up for now. We will be back later today with more news coverage. So we hope until, we're, until I see you next, or we see you next, hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching us here at Right Side Broadcasting.